what is up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is melita and this is a fashion and lifestyle channel well y'all today i wanted to share an item that i got off my wish list and yeah it's going to be a little bible chat okay now before i show y'all the item i got off my wish list well, no, let me just go into it. So, my birthday was in October. Uh, so, my birthday was a few during this month, because I don't know when I'm going to post this video. It's not October. And my daughter, she was like, um, she was like, Mom, what you want for your birthday? I forget when she asked me. And when my kids ask me, what do I want for my birthday? I always ask them, what's your budget? So Shari was just like, mom, what you want? And so I had to think about, okay, what is a good, reasonable gift? I said, Shari, you know what I want? It's these spiral Bibles I want. She said, a spiral Bible? I said, yeah. So y'all, look at these. Now, I showed these on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. But I really wanted to like go into depth with the Spiral Bible, the other Bibles that I own, how I'm currently reading the Bible. I, I wanted to get into it, okay? And I can't really get, I could get into it on Instagram and stories, but please, stories, I got to keep hitting the button. So no, I'm going to do it here, leave it here. Share it on my Instagram, and anybody that wants to plug in can, okay? So the Spiral Bible is a note-taking Bible, which is amazing, okay? Because it has lines on the side for you to take notes. Because, like, my mom, y'all know my mom, okay? And when I first started reading the Bible years ago, she would be like, I called her, because one of the most fascinating things for me and the Bible is how is the story of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is talked about so much, but they only accompany two chapters in the book of Genesis. And the book of Genesis is long. So I'm just like, wait a minute, what? As I have, you know, read the Bible over and over again. Because here's a tip. Here's one tip. If you don't know how to read the Bible, like, let's say, like for me, I, ugh, my mother has been in church since she was like two years old, but it was probably maybe four or five or something. But every time I say something, I'd be like, girl, you've been in church since you was an infant. But my mom has been in church maybe since she was like seven. Because I think, I think that's what I read in her book. Um, that will be, uh, coming soon. All right. Um, so she'd been in church for a long time. So when I, you know, was reading the Bible and coming across all these stories and things, she was, this is her, Melita, you might want to have like a little journal so that you can, you know, take notes. I'm thinking, mom, please. So I tried to have a journal and no, I, it did not work for me. Okay. I will write one thing and, and keep it pushing. And I have tons of journals. Okay. Thanks to Pastor D. She has gave me so many journals over the years. So I have a ton, right? But still. So I really wanted this because I felt like, oh, this, this is it right here. The Bible with the notes. So I'm very excited about it. So, when you order the complete set, and I'll have it linked below if anybody is interested, it, it's five of them. It says the books of the law, Genesis through Deuteronomy. Then it says the books of history, Joshua through Esther. Let me see if I let me see if I know in Joshua, okay. First Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, Chronicles. Because I read the Old Testament a lot. So much. I mean, they're just filled with so many great stories. 
But recently, Ezra, I don't know nothing about him. See what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about him. Nehemiah. Okay. Um, last December, y'all, because y'all know, having a mother that just loves the Lord, it's a delight. Especially if you love the Lord as well. Now, if I had, you know, if I wasn't of the faith or something, I might have an issue with it. So I don't. But last December, y'all, mom going to send us all out a text message. I mean, it goes to everybody. Me, my sister, the, the grandkids. Here she go. I challenge you to read the book of Luke during the month of December. If you, I because I guess maybe Luke has 25 chapters, I don't really know. But it's like if you read a chapter every day or something, you'll, you'll read the book of Luke. So, you know me, I'm like, oh, well, you know, I don't know that much about Luke. Let me go and read it. Let me, y'all, that was the longest chapter. I said, Mom, why are these chapters so long? She was crying. I was like, Lord, have mercy. So the book of Luke, honey, Luke was rapping, okay? Because them chapters is long. The books of poetry, Job through Song of Solomon. So, of course, you know, you y'all know we got our Psalms in here and we got our Proverbs, okay? Y'all know that's what's in this third one. And then the prophets, Isaiah through Malachi. Now, I don't think I know none of these people. I'm just being honest with y'all. Jeremiah. Oh, yeah, Jeremiah. You know, for I know the plans I have for you. The, You know, that's Jeremiah 29, 11. If you ever feeling down, go to that. Because that lets you know God already knew your life before you even, child, was a piece of sperm coming out your daddy. All right? And you then for that, you should rejoice. Daniel, Hosea. See, I don't know these people. Joe, Amos. Who is he? Child, please. Nahum. <laughs> I don't know none of this. Zephaniah. I don't know that. Okay. And then the New Testament is in this. What does? Oh, it just says the New Testament. And they don't have a lot of translations. Now, this is what I realized. After all these years, <laughs> this is, this is what I'm saying. You know, life is all about learning and I'm a forever student. Okay. Years ago, Pastor D told us, if you want to know what Bible resonates with your spirit, go to a Christian bookstore and pick up different versions of the Bible and read them and see which one, you know, resonates with you. So for me, I always did the New King James Version, y'all. Why am I just realizing? I don't, I don't really understand that version. <laughs> like, sometimes I am reading and I'm like, what? And so then I go to the New Living Translation. And that's when I understand. I be like, oh, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down now. So this is in the New Living Translation. And I forget. Oh, and y'all, this was so funny. I went to my mom's house one day before I had this. And y'all, my mother has so many Bibles. I mean, she has as many Bibles as I have pair of Rothy's, And I'm not joking, okay? So I went to her house for something and she was like, I just got to show you this. Because I think she thought I was going to be like, Ma, another Bible. She was like, I just got to show you this. Look at this. It's a spiral Bible. I said, Ma, I want that. I'm not even mad you bought that. I want that Bible too. She was like, yeah. And I was like, ooh, let me see it. I was like, yes, I can't wait to get it. So, yeah. So, I'm happy about that. So, this is how I didn't want to. Whenever I get a new Bible. I always go back to the beginning of the Bible and just start reading it fresh. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to jump right in with this spiral Bible. And I'm currently in the New Testament. Yeah, I'm currently in the New Testament. After mom challenged me with Luke, I said, well, Lee, you might as well just start at the beginning of the New Testament and read it 
through and then you can start back over at the at the um at Genesis. Cuz that's basically what I do. I just keep reading the Bible one chapter at a time. That's how I do it. And if I'm and now I'm like doing some devotionals. So the devotionals may direct me to verses, okay? So I'm currently in 1 Corinthians. That's where I am with Paul, child. And child, what's a lot going on? I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about, okay? So that's the spiral Bible. Now, I have a Bible that I, that I call the church Bible. My mom bought me that Bible years ago. I keep it in the car so that I can always take it to church. I'm not one of these phone Bible girls, okay? I'm not going to be in church pulling up the Bible on my phone. I don't like it. I don't like it, okay? I need to be turning the pages of the Lord, okay? So, my mom, I don't know. I don't know what we was talking about, but something came up. And she was talking about how she has this leadership Bible. I said, what? It sounds like I need that. Y'all, why does she have two? Ma, why do you have two of the same Bible? But in that scenario, I was happy because she gave me one. And so that, this is what I'm currently reading out of. I'm currently reading out of this leadership Bible. So what I'm doing, this is the New King James Version. So what I'm doing is I'm reading it in tandem with the spiral Bible because this leadership Bible, I started in a new Testament. So of course I have to go back and be reading it in the old Testament. Cause what it does is it's letting you know, it has little excerpts on the different, let me go to the front of Corinthians. Wait. Where am I? First Corinthians 10. We got a little bookmark there. Because when the book opens up with Corinthians, it's giving you the leaders that are in this chapter, and you know, I got to pull my specs out. The leaders in 1 Corinthians is Paul, Apollos, Aquila, Priscilla, Timothy, Crispus. Who is this? Sosthenes. Child, please. I don't know him. So then it also, and this is when you first, this is the opening up the chapter. It talks about God's role in 1 Corinthians lessons in leadership and then other people of influence in first corinthians and then leadership highlights in corinthians so each chapter breaks the leadership down in corinth in the in that bible okay so let's see that's first corinthians let's go to where i was before that romans Just like Romans. Romans is the same thing. God's role in Romans. The leaders in Romans. A lot of the same. Paul, Phoebe, Aquila, Priscilla. And it says the host of others listed in Romans 16. Other people of influence. Lessons in leadership. Leadership highlight. So like if you are a leader in your church. You, you won't need this. Okay. I'll try to find it on Amazon. See if Amazon got it and link it below. Or try to find it on the internet for y'all. Link it below. Because you definitely need to get into this. Now, why my bookmark fall way over there? Very annoying, okay? So, see, I'm, so I'm, I'm already... I'm three Bibles deep, okay? Three Bibles deep being like my mama, okay? Now, let me show y'all. The creme de la creme is what I think. This is the creme de la creme of Bibles, y'all. The Thomas Chain Reference Bible. Now, and it says Study Bible. 
New King James Version. I bought this Bible during a pandemic. I paid almost $200 for it. But, y'all, it is the creme de la creme. Like, and I can't wait to get back to this Bible, but I cannot read three Bibles at one time. Like, please, please, I can't do it. So, we'll get, once I finish with the leadership Bible, I'll get back to this. Because I had started this in the pandemic. And I loved it because, let me tell y'all why. Because here's the thing. If you're just going to church and sitting in the pews, but you're not studying the word on your own, you don't you don't know anything. You just don't. In order you have to read God's word to like have it resonate in your life. You got to read God's word and go to church, okay? And I don't know what else, okay? It's more, you know? But listen at this. This, I, because let me tell you, when I tell y'all I get excited about the Bible, I be excited, honey. So when I first opened this up, look at this. Old Testament, New Testament. Child, I don't know what that diagram talking about, but it's talking about something. Because this is the creme de la creme of Bibles. But Genesis. The first book of Moses called Beginning. I was like, wait a minute, what? The first book of Moses. And that's where I learned, like, wait. Did Moses write this? What is going on? So, wait a minute. Let me go to the next one and see what that one says. Oh, yeah. This is where I learned that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. But hold up, let me make sure I'm let me make sure I'm telling the truth. I want to get to um Exodus. So I can see what that say. Yep. The second book of Moses called Exodus. It was this book. I say, what? Moses wrote the and y'all know I called my mother. She was like, yeah, he wrote the first, what? Because y'all, one thing about my mother, she going to take a Bible class. She going to know, okay? Moms is going to know, all right? Because she she is into it, honey. She been into it for a long time. So let me see. Let me just go to something else and see what it say. See if it tell me who wrote it. So see, that's what this Bible is good. Oh, okay, no. Not Chronicles. Chronicles is just saying the second book of Chronicles. But I don't, but you know, it could have said something before. I don't know. But yeah, I did not know that Moses wrote the five books of the Bible, the first five books of the Bible, until I got this. Creme de la creme of Bibles. And I did get this off Amazon years ago, but I'll find it and link it below for your study needs. And then, lesson. If you study in God's word, honey, you know you need that concordance and that dictionary. And listen, y'all, I, I know I didn't buy this. I really think Pastor D gave me this. I, I really think she did. Because I feel like years ago, Pastor D wanted us to take these Bible classes at Evangel. When they was doing Bible classes. And two of the classes was. Well it was how to study the Bible for yourself. Part one and part two. She wanted us to take that. And then she wanted us to take. Supporting the pastor's vision. So I took them classes years ago. And of course the class was free. It was at a church. But of course they were selling materials for money. Y'all know I ain't about it. I was like how is the class free? But you want me to buy these materials. Sound like the class ain't free to me. Y'all know I ain't buy the materials. And I feel like Pastor D gave me this. Because back then, child, I ain't had no money. Okay? Yes. Come on. Come on, dictionary. Come on, dictionary and concordance. So the dictionary is in the back and the concordance is in the front. So, yeah, for your little study needs. Okay? Now. Currently, so I have been reading the Bible for years, okay? But currently, 
now I have started to do Bible devotions. I'm so proud of myself, okay? And so, now one of these books I got from uh, Nas, who's an influencer, this. She just kept talking about this book, honey, but she kept also showing, um, like, the passages, the certain pages. And I was like... That seems like something I can get into. A hundred days of believing bigger devotional journal. I'm like, I can get into that. And I have been enjoying it now. With anything, right? Some of these things don't pertain to me, right? Like I don't have any self-esteem issues, yada yada yada. So certain certain things just don't pertain to me. Y'all, I just keep it moving, okay? Don't don't get caught up in that. Now, currently, this is this is the book that we're doing in church, Perspective Shift, a study in the book of the Philippians. This is good. I'm trying to tell y'all. Now, where am I? What day am I on? Oh, y'all, this is this was yesterday. Cause we going over. It's like a six week study. We going over it in church or whatever. But it has daily devotionals that we do at home. Oh, because I'm like, who is who is be, who is trying to reach me? It's my mom. <laughs> then she's saying, sorry to bother you. They always say, oh, so everybody knows that on Sunday I'm doing mass recording. Child, please. But at any rate. So day 20, seeing God as he is, and it gives you a scripture and all of these things. But this is what really lifted my spirits, all of these scriptures. It was like, read the following verses and then write down the perspective each gives us on what God is really like. So it was like Matthew 7, 11. 2 Corinthians 9 through 8, Psalms 81 through 84 through 11, Lamentations 3, 22 to 23, and Philippians 4, 19. And all the central theme of those scriptures was how God is going to take care of his children. God loves his children. God provides what we need. I was like, yes, honey. And this is why we need to do these devotionals, okay? So I don't know if I'm going to get to do one today or not. Let me see. Reflect. Oh, I didn't even finish. I did that and thought I was done. Child, so excited. I ain't finished none of that. Well, I'm going to have to finish that before I move on. And then I'm on. Oh, and then I'm on session four. So good. Thought for the week. Focus helps us pursue God's best over distractions diversions and dead ends i know that's right so yes so all right guys i hope that was some helpful information like um i do realize that some of the people that read that um that watch me and my mom's like planner unboxings those are jesus people and i was like oh okay well, I think that they will enjoy my little Bible recap, honey. You know, I think some of y'all will enjoy that. So make sure you let me know, all right? Well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, let's be social on social media, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you in my next one.